classic question, a golden oldie. Um, frequency of training at the muscle group once, twice, three times a week, is there any difference? Yeah, this is it, isn't it? I think, um, I mean, the paper we published again with Paolo um, earlier in the year, which, which is volume matched, suggested that there's no greater benefit to once a week. In fact, it's, it, in fact, it suggested that there were greater benefits to once a week, uh, once per week, be, potentially because of the higher volume in that single session. Um, the groups were volume matched, so there were eight exercises performed once a week or four exercises performed in each session over two different sessions per week. Um, what was the um, volume of sets per exercise? There's eight exercises performed once per week or divided into four exercises per, across two workouts per week um, formed for three sets of you know, eight to 12 repetitions. Um, so they were volume matched, which was the key. And it might be that that single workout with a higher volume in a single workout incurred you know, a greater uh, stimulus and then allowed a greater recovery time and that, that adaptation, you know, uh, it's really interesting uh, it's not my area, but Felipe Damas and Brad Schoenfeld have had this back and forth about muscle damage, whether muscle damage is a key mark, is, is, is an indicator of hypertrophy. And, um, and, and Damas is, is suggesting that first the muscle damage occurs and we recover from that, and then it's a bit more of a drawn out process to actually see a hypertrophic adaptation. Um, and it might be that um, you know, we need that prolonged recovery to, uh, to see that adaptation in, in muscle thickness. Do you, do you have an opinion on that? Because I've, I have seen the, the, the counter argument <coughs> to that, um, which is that muscle damage could potentially even get in the way of hypertrophy. Yeah, um, I, I'm very much open to the research as it comes out and, and kind of gauging things from, from these guys. And I think this is, you know, I, I like to be the scientist that's able to defer my opinion to, to scientists that study this and publish more on this. Um, Jeremy Lonecki published a paper a few years back that suggested that higher frequency might be the answer to greater hypertrophy to stimulate a more sustained muscle protein synthesis. And at the time, I read that, and that was one of the one of the key papers that probably impacted my training at the time. I was quite happy because it fit with my lifestyle at the time to reduce uh, the amount of volume um, per session and train more frequently. And, and I think for variety to maybe go back to a split routine that I might have done at the time, things like that. Um, I think that you know this is an interesting area, and I think that really what we should look at is practically there doesn't seem to be a greater example to higher frequencies, and certainly no more than than twice per week. Um, but re but pragmatically, it should fit in with people's lifestyle if they can do one workout per week, then, then it should be a quality workout and maybe they should perform a bit higher volume, maybe eight to 12 exercises. If they're training more frequently, then maybe they can afford to reduce the volume down accordingly. And we're, we're obviously under these circumstances we're talking full, full body routines. Yeah, I, I, I would typically encourage full body routines um, and appropriate rest between workouts. So if somebody is electing to train twice per week, I'd probably still do full body routines. Um, there might be an emphasis on different movements in those different workouts and maybe a different exercise order. Uh, you know, somebody starts with, uh, say, a chest press exercise in, the, in, in workout one, then maybe start with an overhead press exercise in the second workout further down the week, or whatever it might be, or whatever suits them based on their, their goals. Uh, if their goals are to focus on lifting a heavier weight for their overhead press, then it would make logical sense to practice that skill and that movement earlier in the workout. 